The infamous nuclear blast that was the Oprah slash Megan interview detonated an uneasy ceasefire between the once inseparable pair. But just when the fallout seemed to settle, Harpo Productions' queen has lobbed a thermonuclear bombshell back into the media maelstrom she inadvertently sparked over two years ago. In a scathing 107-page civil complaint filed late Thursday night in Los Angeles County Superior Court, Oprah Winfrey issued a furious legal salvo at Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. The media mogul is suing her embattled protege for no less than a staggering $90 million in damages over allegations of defamation fraudulent misrepresentation, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The complaint, by turns caustic and emotionally pained, charges that the former royal family member maliciously calculated a cold, premeditated campaign of harmful falsehoods in a concerted effort to deceive and incite global hostility against Ms. Winfrey, both professionally and personally. According to the suit, Meghan executed this alleged smear through an intricate series of clandestine communications across multiple media platforms while masking her involvement, seeking to vilify, demonize and destroy Oprah's immaculate public reputation as the trustworthy, moral voice of truth. At the heart of the extraordinary legal broadside are accusations Meghan engaged in a knitted web of deceptions to plant carefully crafted innuendos and fabricate sordid narratives falsely portraying Oprah as a ruthless, self-serving manipulator, who was exploiting her royal connections for selfish personal gain. Referencing cryptic media leaks, unattributed rumor mills, and surreptitious online message boards, the lawsuit cites a voluminous trail of evidence indicating Meghan and her corrosive PR team stoked narratives accusing Oprah of spiking the 2021 interview with outrageously leading questions designed to smear and destroy the royal family's reputation all to spur runaway ratings for own. Knowingly providing Meghan with an unconstrained global stage to promote lies and dangerous conspiracy theories regarding the royal stances on racism, mental health and related cultural issues. Blindly abetting and championing Meghan's vendetta against the Crown despite allegedly knowing or strongly suspecting numerous assertions were exaggerated falsities designed to rehabilitate her image. Encouraging and directing the Duchess to make even more extreme claims against the firm to inflame audiences with red-hot half-truths and fabrications, then profiting off the maliciously stoked controversies that convulsed the world. Secretly conspiring with Meghan's Hollywood team to help meticulously script and choreograph the interview for maximum shock value to torch all remaining bridges between California and Buckingham Palace. Turning a willful blind eye to Meghan's most toxic distortions, against her estranged relatives, directly contributing to the couple's permanent exile from the royal family, all for enhanced media buzz and public profiles. The suit alleges these malicious subterfuges fueled a global firestorm of such vicious vitriol, harassment and threats of violence, against Oprah that her personal safety and business operations were jeopardized on an unprecedented scale. For evidence of Meghan's covert agenda, the filing includes bombshell excerpts from an alleged leaked 2021 email from one of Oprah's closest advisors begging the talk show titan to disengage from that unstable woman's games after suffering a relentless onslaught of menacing attacks from her cult. This chick has assembled a well-financed, twisted underground army launching an endless stream of vile falsehoods, sick memes and death threats at you, hoping to provoke you into an unguarded reaction they can forever twist and weaponize the unnamed senior advisor reportedly wrote in December 2021, urging Oprah to halt all contact with Meghan before the situation further deteriorated. I'm hearing their next escalation plans involve yet another sensational TV burn the fuck out, beyond just twisting trailers. I'm worried for your safety if O remains entangled in their malicious campaign against you. We need an exit strategy from this toxic sinkhole ASAP. The document alleges Meghan effectively weaponized her truth platform as a calculated pretext to manipulate the public into perverting reality and falsely portraying any reproachable behavior on her part as merely the latest racist, patriarchal conspiracy attempting to control the marginalized Duchess's truth-speaking voice. It further accuses her of cynically indoctrinating a brainwashed cult of misguided supporters who disgracefully and shamelessly heaped torrents of racist, misogynistic vitriol death threats and heinous defamations, at Oprah and her team to malign their mainstream credibility. When contacted for comment on these inflammatory allegations, Oprah's lead counsel Marshall Grossman exhaled a barely restrained contemptuous scoff at the idea of suing a former friend. 
Let me be perfectly clear, my client is not litigating this harrowing case against some casual Hollywood associate or business partner who became disagreeable, Grossman growled in a gravel-toned bravado. This is a full-frontal legal assault launching a tomahawk missile of lawful reckoning straight against the belly of the beast, Meghan Markle and her Machiavellian apparatus of personal destruction that derailed Oprah's life and career. Grossman alleged the former TV news anchor deliberately schemed to hijack and twist her cherished life's work into a weaponized instrument of chaos purely to cynically rebuild her public persona on the charred rubble of Oprah's staggering achievements and sterling integrity. The high-powered litigator claims to possess a smoking gun paper trail chronicling Meghan's purported master strategy of using Oprah as a pawn, only to burn her after extracting selfish gains, an odious, pathologically self-centered two-faced manipulation that sickens the soul. He alleges this premeditated gambit began when Meghan's camp cunningly exploited Oprah's shared childhood struggles as an impoverished black woman to cynically ingratiate themselves into her generous confidence. But as soon as she had extracted her questionable tell-all interview, the Duchess promptly turned against her famous benefactor in retaliation for crimes against her truth movement. The lawsuit explicitly cites when Meghan infamously ghosted Oprah in the aftermath of the royal fallout, cutting off all communication and even allegedly instructing her militant cult of online supporters to viciously target and harass Oprah's associates with racist and misogynistic slurs. This anti-racist activist actually reveled in flooding my client's business operations and personal staff with an avalanche of bigoted, repugnant abuse reminiscent of the vilest McCarthyist intimidation campaigns, Grossman fumed. Does that sound like the behavior of a progressive humanitarian preaching love and truth? Or a bitter, petulant zealot willing to do anything to punish a fading benefactor and shield herself from accountability? The veteran attorney then grew hushed with ominous gravity, allowing his words to reverberate as a stark warning shot to Meghan and anyone perceived as amplifying her alleged mistruths. If she thinks Oprah can be so easily manipulated and ill-treated after everything they once meant to one another, after Oprah essentially reminted Meghan's cultural currency through that legitimizing interview, then this decimating, truth-telling lawsuit will be the furious receipt she recklessly forced to make an example for the world. My client didn't become a self-made media titan who revolutionized America's cultural fabric through gumption, authenticity, and shrewd negotiation skills only to buy into absurd conspiracies about backstabbing manipulation plots engineered by jealous former associates, Grossman concluded with a rhetorical flourish. In fact, our litigation will disclose so many appalling bombshells about private plots, calculated deceptions and nefarious propaganda campaigns launched against Oprah, the Duchess's defeat at trial will atomize every last fiber of falsehoods obscuring her progressive brand of righteousness once and for all. For her part, Meghan remained steadfastly defiant when reached for comment regarding the extraordinary lawsuit's allegations. Breaking her silence from her palatial Montecito estate, the Duchess defiantly brushed off the litigation as a baseless campaign of disinformation and intimidation from yet another vestige of the racist, patriarchal establishment hellbent on punishing and obstructing her righteous advocacy. Once again, these malicious forces of regressive societal power structures are willfully misrepresenting and weaponizing my personal truth to retaliate against my global fight for justice, Meghan pronounced with well-rehearsed poise. The American public should look no further than this despicable legal charade to comprehend the systemic reprisals independent truth-tellers face in this country for courageously rejecting complacency. She then notably referred to Oprah's lawsuit as the dying obstructionist gasp from a fallen icon desperately seeking relevance at the expense of progressive revolutionaries fighting to topple the world's archaic regimes of cronyism and systematic oppression. Invoking the rallying call of revolutionary fortitude and defiance, Meghan declared her full intention to vehemently contest the unfounded accusations and scurrilous falsehoods through exhaustive litigation, proclaiming her rightful outcome as inevitable vindication. Whether or not the world's jurors agree with that characterization may determine whose catalyzing narrative achieves the global resonance and legacy as the ultimate truth left standing tall when the dust settles. But the collateral damage from these two media titans clashing at full tilt appears unavoidably assured to scorch the cultural landscape for the foreseeable future.